Okay, good evening everybody, and um, I hope you're not too tired tonight. <laughs> so I'm Frédéric Jacon from uh, camp to camp um, So I'm at camp to camp and you know the company, and I'm not a developer, I'm a project manager, so you will not hear about code and things like that, but how do we do a big project? Um, all right, the context, we've been working with the Ministry of Ecological Transition in France, so it's a big ministry of course, uh, hundreds of people working there, and they had an application called GeoIDE, GeoIDEO, and that they would use internally to create maps, download maps, share maps, and they had a catalog and everything. And uh, they have, I don't know how many people using this, but it was uh, about 150 services around France using that um, GeoID application. Uh, so in 2019, the ministry wanted to modernize the mapping module and create uh, a new module called Kato2. And uh, because um, all the components of GeoID were out of date and the technology was too old. So the, the goal was to have a new um, Kato2 module that would allow um, data administrator to compose, publish, and uh, console maps online, and we would try to do a more modern ergonomic platform. And also the possibility to, um, the, the challenge was that Scarto 2 was to be developed in an existing environment with a lot of dependency on many other applications inside the Ministry of um, Ecological Transition. Okay, so just a look at the uh, the results, one of the results, the element interface. So um, basically it's for people at the ministry, they want to build a map and share it, and they have a user, a classical web GIS interface, and they can choose data in a catalog and then uh, change the style and using in the backend for this example is a geo server. Now what was the, the challenges? The challenges was that um, we try, we try to do what we call clean architecture. And uh, sorry, this is quite a complicated uh, scheme here, but the idea that in the center you have um, the domain, the domain is really uh, what the business is doing. Here the Ministry of Environment is working on climate changes and everything. Application are the use cases, and then you have other layers. Integration is how do you integrate this into the existing uh, components and presentation is how to to communicate to uh, uh, other systems. So what we do, what we did, is to develop an application that can use uh, multi-cartographic servers, so geo server, QGIS server, uh, map servers, whatever, and to offer to the users uh, multi-front applications. But the core of the code is, um, should be totally independent of all that. So it's not entirely true. Uh, it's in the process of coming, coming true. And uh, yeah, and as usual in that kind of big project, it's been a three-year project, we have done a contribution, an open source contribution with InkMap, which is a print, um, it's a front-end print module that you can find uh, and it's open source. Um, yeah, what else can I say here? Um, oh, sorry, the other side. So, in three years, this is what we have achieved, is we started the project end of 2019, and we, have, we had a team of four developers, and working together with the, some people at the ministry, with an agile method using typical Scrum um, development method, and we could have six months afterwards at first version in production, which was really fast, but um, of course we were, use, we were using uh, usual component like GeoServer, open layers, like everything new, knows, everybody knows how to uh, use them, but the, the challenge was to be fast. And then uh, last year uh, we would have uh, sufficient functional scope to get rid of the, the old module and now people are using only the Carto 2 module and this year we have integrated uh, QGIS map. So um, this is um, just an example of working with a big organization like thousands of users um, 
with big uh, technical challenges, and you can go fast. You need, uh, of course, people, uh, good um, working method, but, um, but we did it. So um, that was really uh, a satisfaction for, for the ministry, and I'm hoping now that uh, we, we're going to expand this, uh, this uh, GIS architecture for over functionalities. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.